Hi, somebody contacted me recently and asked me if I'd ever consider doing um, a video on monograms. So here it is. Um, I hope this is what you were looking for. On the screen you'll see the results once they're in canvas, but these were all made in Inkscape. This one here was made using a font that I got from a website called dafont.com here and I typed in monogram in the search box and it brought up all of these and this is the one I chose monogram KK and I downloaded it and installed it. There are lots of videos and information on the internet about how you download and save and unzip font files and install them so I'm not going to go into that here <clears throat> excuse me okay so we'll go back to canvas and then as I say this first one was done using that font these other two were both made using impact which as far as I'm aware is a, a basic standard block type font that's available both on Windows and Mac so we're going to go to Inkscape and I'm going to show you how I did that. So I've got a blank page. I'm working in 50% view. I'm going to click on the text icon. And I know the first font that I want to use is called Monogram KK. So I'm going to go up to this box and I'm going to start typing. And there it is. And I select it. Then while I've got the A on the end of my cursor, which shows it's the text tool I've got selected, I'm going to click once holding the shift key down on my keyboard, I'm just going to type ABC. <clears throat> then I'm going to click on the select icon which selects this and then I'm just going to drag it out just so you can see it. Now, because I've typed them literally as ABC, they've come on the page as a group. If, you, if, you, if I click on them, you can see they're all selected. So we want to ungroup them so we can make the bigger, bigger sorry the middle letter bigger but if you've seen any of my other videos on YouTube or my blog you'll know that when we're working with text or dingbat fonts we have to you do path union or else the font won't open in canvas later just going to go to out, outline view because even though odd things were happening on the screen that you can see the font looks okay so I'm going to go back to view display and normal and it looks okay so that's just to show you because something odd happened on screen so what we want to do now is break this apart so we go to path break apart and again all strange things happen and that's now because these are actually all individual bits so we're going to drag an imaginary box around our first letter A, only the A, and go to Path Combine. And that puts the centres back in the middle of the letters and makes it one unit rather than being all in sections like this one is here. So we go to Path Combine. Move, move that one out of the way. Select the letter C and do Path Combine. Now, we want to make the B bigger, so I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard and drag it out so that keeps it in proportion and make it bigger. I'm going to drag an imaginary box around all the three, go up here to my align tool and I'm going to click this one, center on horizontal axis and that lines them all up centrally. And then I'm going to click on this one here that says make horizontal gaps between objects equal and that just sets them all apart nice and equally and then while they're all selected I'm going to do path union one last time and again don't worry about anything odd happening like this on the screen if we select it all and go to view display and down to outline you can see it looks okay I'm just going to go back to normal view so you can see it. So if that is all you wanted to do, you would just save that file now as an SVG file and import it into Canvas. So that's how to take letters and make one bigger and line them up.
but we're just going to take it a step further. So I'm going to just shrink those down a little out of the way and I'm just going to put them over there out of the way for a minute. Now I'm going to use impact, so I'm going to go to my text tool, come up here, start to type impact and choose it. Click on my page and I'm going to do the same thing, capital A, B, C. My screen is doing funny things today, sorry. I'm going to go over here to the select tool so it selects it. I'm going to drag it out to make it bigger. And while it's selected, you can see up here I've got the size. Now, I'm working in inches, but if you click on the little arrow, you can bring all sorts of other things up. You can work in point, pixel, millimetres, centimetres, however you like, but mine's in inches. And at the moment, it's saying that this text here is 3.419 inches wide and 3.976 inches high. In actual fact, if you look at it closely, I'll try and zoom in. You can see the C is higher than the A and the B because there's a gap above the A and the B. So the size, I'll just go back to my zoom to page, the size is being taken, this size here is being taken from the C. Okay, so while that's all selected, we'll go to path union. And remember that this was roughly 3.976 high. I'm going to come to my circle tool, hold down the control key on my keyboard and drag out a circle. And I'm going to select it and you can see up here now this is bigger than what this was. So we want to make this circle smaller. So I'm going to make this circle about three and a half inches high. Just a rough idea. Now, because it's a circle and I want it to size, height and wide, I'm going to click on this padlock and lock the aspect ratio. Then I'm going to select this and I'm going to type 3.500 and that will make the height and the width the same. Now, I can't remember whether I did path union on that, so I'm going to do path union. I'm going to drag the circle up over the letters and, and the middle letter needs to extend above and beyond the circle and it does here. Drag an imaginary box around everything and go to path intersection and that's your monogram made. Okay, now say you want to make the letters, the outside letters smaller, so we'll do it again, we'll type A, B, C, select them drag them out, do path, union, look at the size again. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this four inches high and I've got the aspect ratio locked here so it will make the width e e equal to the height and I'm going to hit um, enter on my keyboard so we know this is roughly four inches high now. Technically not, as I say, because it's taking the measurement off the C. I'm going to click on the circle tool, hold down the control key, drag a circle out, select it, and I'm going to make the circle 3.5 inches high. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my letter, path, break apart, drag an imaginary box around the A, path combine, round the B, path combine, don't need to do the C because it doesn't have any middle letters. While the C is selected, I'm going to hold the shift key down on my keyboard and select the A. So that's just selected the C and the A. I'm going to hold the control key down on my keyboard and I'm going to shrink them down so they shrink together. Okay, that looks fine. I'm going to drag an imaginary box around everything, go to the align tool centre them all and then I'm going to go back to the align tool and use this space equal. Okay, and if I click away you can see it spaced them out. I'm going to select them all again, do the path union just to be on the safe side, drag the circle over, place it over the letter, 
you can see it extends above and beyond there while it's all selected and the circles on top because that's the item I dragged over the letters I'm going to go to path intersection okay and that's how you make monograms now I'm going to save this file save as just going to call it test.svg I'm going to save it on my desktop and save it just going to get rid of this for a minute I'm going to go to canvas and I'm going to open a new page I'm going to go to project import svg find my file on my desktop and click choose and OK and there are my files now in Canvas and then all as I did once I'd got them into Canvas I gave them matting layers you may or may not want to do this but I'll show you how I did it so this one's selected I'm going to go to the offset icon going to choose outward I'm going to leave it on its default you can play around with that but for just this I'm going to leave it on the default and then you can see it's given me a matting layer I'll fill it with color just to make it easier for you to see on the screen you don't have to do this I'm just doing this so you can see it on screen and then I'm going to put the letters and sometimes I don't know why but sometimes when you line them up and then you say click bring to the front it doesn't always bring them to the front so I'm going to select it click bring to front and then hopefully when I drag it over here now it's come to the front and you can see the matting layer for that then this one I'm going to do the same I'm going to I'll, I'll alter the offset this time leave it on outward say okay you can see the matting layers behind going to give it a colour I'm only doing this as I say so that you can see it on the screen and we'll click we'll, that's selected now we'll click center back and see if this works oh yeah that one's worked so that's one mat another layer and then this one you might want to put a circle around so you go to your basic shapes get yourself a circle that doesn't look a bad size actually for that so we'll leave it at that we'll go to outset We'll create an outward outset and say OK. And what you have to do when you're doing anything like this, a frame, this works for frames, select both, click the divide icon. When you click divide, you always get an extra bit in the middle you don't need. So we'll drag that away and delete it. This is now our frame. We'll fill it with colour again, just so you can see it on screen. Bring our letters over. And put them in the middle so that's how you do monograms and then you can bring them into canvas you can choose to add frames or not or matting layers as you like and then you give it a name you save it and put it on a USB stick and put that into your machine and you can cut them so I hope that's helpful and I hope it's what the person asked for on YouTube. Leave me any questions or comments below or if you're finding this video via my blog leave me a message on there and I'll get back to you. Thank you.